This brief video is titled Problem Solving, Word Problems, Specific to Inequalities. First, let's review solving for a variable and inequality. Remember that the intent is to isolate the variable one step at a time. So looking at our inequality, 2.3x minus 5 is less than or equal to 32. We're going to add 5 to both sides. We end up with 2.3x less than or equal to 37. Well, to isolate the variable x, we need to then divide by 2.3 on both sides. When we do that, we get that x is less than or equal to 16.09. Let's do a couple more. Minus x over 2 plus 10 is greater than or equal to 21. To isolate the variable, the first step is to subtract 10 from both sides. And then we have to multiply times negative 2, both sides, to isolate the variable. When you multiply or divide by a negative in an inequality, you reverse the inequality symbol. So the greater than or equal to becomes less than or equal to. Why? because we multiplied both sides by a negative, negative 2. Our second example, we're going to have to use the distributive property and distribute 1 fourth over the a and over the 16. So we get 1 fourth a and then 1 fourth times 16 is 4, greater than 10. 1 fourth a is therefore then greater than 6 because we subtracted 4 from both sides. A then is greater than 24. Why? Because we had to multiply both sides by 4 to isolate the variable. Let's make that multiplication. Okay, now let's tackle some word problems. If the sides of an equilateral triangle are congruent, congruent meaning equal, now I'll assume the perimeter of the triangle is less than 45 centimeters, what are the possible lengths of the triangle sides? Well, perimeter is each side added together, so side plus side plus side, or 3s. So 3s is less than 45. We're going to divide both sides by 3 to isolate the variable. So S is less than 15 centimeters. When we interpret our solution, what we can look at is it has to be less than 15, but obviously a side has to have length, so it has to be greater than zero. So if you look at the number line graph, you'll see an open circle on zero, which means it can't be zero. And you also have an open uh, little mark there for 15. And that means the number can't be equal to 15. But any number in between there is a solution. So any number less than 15 and greater than 0 would be a solution to this problem. Could each one of these sides equal 0 0.01? Yes, because 0 0.01 is in between 0 and 15. Let's look at another one. Earl needs to buy three pairs of jeans for work. He has a gift card for $25. After he uses the gift card, the most he can spend is $50. How much could each pair of the jeans cost? So we're going to come up with our inequality. 3J, the J meaning the number of jeans, minus 25, that's the gift certificate, has to be less than or equal to $50. So once again, to isolate the variable, we're going to add 25 to both sides. When we do that, we get 3j is less than or equal to 75. We then divide both sides by 3, and we find that the jeans can cost less than or equal to $25.
So here we have our problem and we worked it all out. And now when we put it on a graph, our solution, we see that each pair of jeans costs no more than $25. So what we see is a closed circle on the 25, which means they could cost $25 each and they could cost anything less than $25. But knowing that a price of jeans, unless they're free, it's going to be greater than zero. So that's why we have the open circle on zero. It's unlikely that the jeans are going to be free, but you never know. Okay, well that ends this very brief video on problem solving word problems specific to inequalities. Enjoy the activity.